Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your favorite YouTube commentator, Sir Cuse, and I'm bringing you guys an online ranked match of Madden NFL 15. I am the Titans, and I'm playing the New Orleans Saints. My record so far in this game is so-so. It's average. I'm not. I wouldn't call me a uh, an expert by any means. I play this game for fun. I'm not too bad, and I have my games where I'm really good, and I have my games where I'm really bad. I didn't, did not ever use the Titans before this game. I haven't watched a lot of the games this year, so I had no idea who they had. Nice pick right there by Sensaba. So I, the only thing I did know is that they had Fitz, uh, Fitzpatrick at quarterback. I was unaware who they had at running back. I believe it's Sean Green. He used to play for the New York Jets. The wideouts were kind of iffy. I mean, offensively, they're not very good. And, oh, I'm sorry, not Fitzpatrick. It's uh, Locker. Jake Locker's a quarterback, not Fitzpatrick. I apologize. I'm thinking Tennessee, uh, Tex or, yeah, Tennessee Texans. Houston Texans. But I'm the Titans, so. I got Locker. My backup is, I believe, Whitehurst. And third string is, I can't remember who it is. I think it's a guy from LSU, Metzenbacher. But they don't have too many offensive talents. So I knew it was going to be a tough game, especially playing against the New Orleans Saints. But I want to talk about Rob Baronis. In case you guys don't know, he used to be the field goal kicker for the uh, Tennessee Titans. He had many, many, many very good seasons. Not sure if he was an all-pro or not, but I know there was one season where he led the NFL in points. He's the highest scorer in uh, Titans history. But uh, they had a report. His wife called, reported him missing. And... It was weird. If you listen to the phone call, you can listen to it on YouTube if you search it. He was missing for two hours. Two hours. So, okay. I turn around and my girlfriend is, I realize that she's gone. I'm probably not going to call the cops. That's kind of weird. I, I don't know. Personally, I think that's weird. I don't know what you guys think. You guys can comment or not. But, I mean, if somebody's gone for two hours, I mean, are you really going to call them missing? I mean, it's kind of sketchy. You know, they were watching a movie or something like that. She said he wasn't drinking. It's just odd that they call, like she called the cops missing. So, anyways, calls him missing, and then not too much longer, there's another 911 call to uh, the police. This couple had called and said that a white Denali, which is the same vehicle that Baronis was driving, had pulled up along the side of them and tried cutting into their lane with nobody else around. Another great pick right there. That was a huge turnover in the game. So, I guess they pulled up to a stop sign or a stop play. He got behind him. He revved, the, revved his engine. So, they proceeded to pull up, and then they pull over. He pulls up along the side of him. Gives him a weird look, the lady said. You can also listen to their 911 call. That's also on YouTube. And she said he gave them a really dirty look. So, he finally goes by them, and they get up the street, and the white Denali is all flipped up against a tree. Like... Basically, he just, like, lost it. So I just think the whole entire situation is kind of odd. I mean, the wife calls. He's missing for two hours. First of all, why does he leave the house? Why does he leave the house? You don't tell your wife you're leaving and you just leave. That's sketchy. Like, I, I haven't, you know, I don't know. It just seems really weird to me. And then this whole road rage thing, like, supposedly he wasn't drinking or any of this other stuff. And they call the cops, and, you know, like, you get in a road rage with somebody, like, okay, so he goes up the road, and he's still going 100 miles an hour, and he bites it. And, I mean, it just doesn't make it make much sense at all. That's a nice run. I need that run right there. Well, I'm still up 7 nothing in this game with Jake Locker, trying to get some nice passing going. So, I mean, the whole situation was really odd to me. It didn't make any sense. He played nine seasons with the uh, with the Titans, 36 years old. But uh, the other one is his wife is uh, Rachel Bradshaw, which is Terry Bradshaw's daughter, which is pretty interesting. But, yeah, this happened a week ago. Really hasn't been much talk about it since then. But, I mean, I just want to know what you guys' thoughts, if you guys heard the tapes or listened to them or just your opinions on, like, does something not seem right? I mean, you're missing for two hours, your wife calls the cops, then somebody calls, says this guy's trying to run him off the road or he's got road rage, and then 
they go up the road and the guy's got the vehicle flipped over. And he hasn't been drinking. It just, there's so much weird shit, it just didn't make any sense. And right there, I believe, is when Locker gets hurt, and I'm like, oh, that's perfectly what I needed right now. So Whitehurst comes in, who, his skills are not very good on this game. So I'm just, I don't know what to do. Just trying to be very, very conservative on, like, short little passes, run the ball. You know, just trying to be smart, because I figure if I, uh... Try to go deep down the field or something stupid is not going to work out. My tight end, I liked uh, Walker. He was he was doing pretty good. So I ended up getting a touchdown. I go 14 nothing on him, which is huge. I squib it. Just trying to get to the half. Play some prevent defense. I back up. Trying to just hold this guy off from uh, throwing a Hail Mary. Throws it up. I'm able to knock it down. Luckily, he doesn't score. So I go on the half up 14 nothing with and I get the ball back. So then I got uh, Washington returning the kick. Get stopped. Running the ball with Green. I was able to get some really good runs with him. But not that, not one on that one. He gets stopped pretty easily. So now I'm just trying to get the ball down the field. He's starting to press a little. So I just want to push the ball down the field. And I throw a terrible ball that should have been picked off. And luckily he dropped it. So then I'm trying to sc uh, sprawl, uh, yeah, sprawl out. Roll out. And uh, I throw the worst pick in the world. And I am just like kicking myself. I'm like, I'm in a perfect spot, 14 nothing. But then, and then he throws a touchdown. And then I'm just like, you know, I basically just gave him seven points. The game was over if I scored there. I would have been on 21 nothing. And, you know, with that much time left, he's probably not going to come back against me. If you're down 21 nothing and you got the Saints and I got the Titans, I mean, come on. So now I'm like, oh, you got to be smart. I got to get some points on the board and use some clock here. So trying to still run the ball with Green. Trying to uh, get the running game going. And then I get a break one right here. That was a nice little run by Green. 15-yard run. Needed that so bad. So I'm just going to keep pounding the ball to Green because it seemed like the running game was really starting to get going. I don't want to pass it. I mean, I've already seen. And then I get this right here. That was a huge play to Wright. Wright's a little speedy. I like him on this game. I was trying to... Wasn't sure if he was going to try to push me to the corner, but I was able to get around him. So I go up 21 to 12. I believe that's what it is, 21 to 12, something like that. I don't know. So <clears throat> trying to be smart here on defense. I figure if I can get some pressure on him, he might throw a pick. And I don't know how I don't intercept that. I am like, you got to be kidding me. got to be kidding me. And then I make the, a terrible play right there. He's able to get a huge gain going up the middle. Breeze is having a pretty good game. Other than him throwing those picks. Second and one, he runs the handoff up the middle. He's able to get the first down. And here I get a huge uh, blitz up the middle, and I couldn't get to the quarterback. Throws a nice little pass to Colston. Gets it down on like the one or two yard line. Still trying to run it in. I'm doing a good job of holding him off, eating up the clock. He's having a hard time with Pierre Thomas. Thankfully, but he's able to finally get it in the end zone. So now I'm sweating it out a little bit. I'm like, did I blow this game? It's now 21 and 19. End of the third quarter is coming up. I'm trying to get uh, a good return. I really don't want to get it down to like the 23, 24. So now I want to establish the run game again with Green. Green had a huge game for me. Huge game. Kind of liked him. I mean, he's speedy. My blocking was amazing. You guys saw that guy just throw that guy down. Look at that, another block. You see that guy just pushing down, like, get out of the way. I could have ran for days, probably. I'm not, I didn't look at their offensive line, but I had I had holes all day with him. Throw a nice little pick to, to Walker again, my tight end. Now I'm moving the ball down the field pretty good. The slants, uh, the slants were open most of the game, especially with the way I've been running the ball. I think he was stacking the box, leaving it one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, and the slants were just killing him and even here the pitch this is huge huge run by green i was really surprised that uh he didn't make it into the end zone so here i'm just trying to use up some clock pound it in looking for somebody open and i throw the worst pick ever worst pick ever i was so mad i'm like 21 to 19 and i've thrown two picks in my in the red zone so what's he do? He heaves it up, and Griffin gets a second interception. Thank God. Which pretty much killed the game for him. That, that was the game right there, that pick. He, I gave him every chance in the book. 
and he uh, he choked it right there. So now I'm just trying to eat a clock, run the clock out right here. Wayhurst gets hurt at one point, and Metzenberger, that's why he's in there now. So I'm down to my third quarterback. So this game's going to be wrapping up pretty soon. I want to know what you guys think of the, uh, the whole Rob Baronis thing. Make sure you guys uh, put down in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you haven't heard it, check out the 911 tapes. Spelling of his name's in the thing. Do me a favor, hit that like, man. The like means a lot. Comment, whatever you guys got to do. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace. A tightly contested contest that has now come to a conclusion. Phil, before we go, how about a little chat about how much this win means? Well, you know, Jim, let's look at it this way. It was just a nice win. It, it keeps your confidence up, and it just gives you a little energy to, uh, to go out next week and try to accomplish it again. Say Never Moment, brought to you by EA Sports. For Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.